Hey gang, Ben from SellingGroceries.com. Today I want to continue along with uh, the video series where we've been looking for websites, places online and off, where we could purchase products for not a lot of money and be able to resell them on Amazon for the purpose of building up our seller account and getting that feedback score up and uh, basically just getting our feet wet and learning the ropes with Amazon FBA. So here's a site you may have heard of AliExpress probably heard of Alibaba their parent company and basically it's just a uh, it's a Chinese website which links you up to Alibaba will link you to Chinese manufacturers for a wide variety of products and AliExpress is like the retail front end of the site which allows uh, will sell directly to the public um, so what's great about AliExpress is you can just kind of browse the catalog and look at all the different products that are available for sale. You could get products to resell. You you know you're not uh, committed to a large quantity like you are on Alibaba. You can just buy a handful of product. It's great for experimenting with different products to see what might sell. You can buy 10 or 20 different items for for literally pennies, and uh, and it's free shipping from China, which is amazing. Um, so it's a great opportunity to not only source product and see what works and what doesn't, but you know you can also get it to just fill your inventory for not a lot of money um, so I want to just show you what I mean you could spend hours on here literally there's just so many different uh, products I like to look always at home and garden kitchen supplies um, you know garden all those kinds of things usually you can find some decent uh, decent deals uh, let's see let's go into kitchen how about cooking tools what I like about those is they're inexpensive and uh, smaller items, easy to ship. Um, kind of look at those and see what different types. Like something like this is. I like to look for unique products that you know just don't see every day. And this one's pretty cool because so you've got hot, creative, durable stuff, grape, cabbage, leaf, rolling tools. You can roll sushi. You can uh, create little um, uh, grape leaf uh, stuffed appetizers that type of thing and it's just just neat you don't see it very often so of course after you find it you want to go over to Amazon and how about um, grape leaf grape leaf roller how about that okay and there it is um, there's a couple of them you can kind of look down the list and you'll see so here you go I mean just there's a ton of them and the price range is all over the place something like here 14 or 16 dollars there they're selling it for five dollars and ninety cents each and that's just one example you can go through here and yeah, this is neat stores Darth Vader what is this called Darth Vader ice cube tray I'm just curious now Darth Vader ice cube tray and there they are. So set up two of them for nine ninety nine. Here you're getting them for two sixty nine each. And pretty cool. Again, you have just you could spend all day literally looking at all the different tools, the kitchen gadgets, um, and here you know you could go and sort from low to high, right? So just click here. And now we can look, and I mean, it'll just blow your mind again, 10 cents, 12 cents, 14 cents. I mean, how are they? And here, okay, look at this one, 16 cents, free shipping, right? And what is this, uh, mouse shape uh, peeler? So let's say mouse shape peeler. And there they are. So 6.99, you know, you're able to source them for 16 cents. Free shipping, not bad. Eight twenty one, six ninety nine. You know, so that that's something neat. You know, I mean, and again, when you're looking at for the sole purpose of kind of building up your account, I would look for items that, you know, you have a decent um, review. You want to look at the so. Let's just for example we'll go to um, let's look at this one. Actually, it doesn't have any reviews. <clears throat> let's see if we can find one with some reviews on it. And. Not seeing many of them with reviews. Well, I guess that's not the best example, but let's look at the sales rank just to see. Yeah, I mean it, it ranks pretty high. And again, you know, 
when you're getting them for 16 cents, that of course is the thing is like lots of people are going to buy them and, and sell them. But, you know, I don't mind a little competition as long as I see there, there's, you know, a lot of, if there's a lot of people selling them, if the sales ranks are decent on them, you know, I can go in and, and get a lower price and, you know, and still compete. And I'm, like I said, I'm just looking for sales and feedbacks. So when I'm starting out, I'm not overly concerned with that. And at 20 cents or 40 cents or 50 cents a piece, um, you know, it, it's not going to hurt you. So let's just go to page seven and see what where we're at price wise. We're still at 31 cents. So, and it looks like tons of them are just repeat products from different manufacturers. So you kind of got to do your homework, but it still makes a lot of sense to go and source your products this way when you get them so inexpensively and uh, free shipping to the United States. And then you can just order a bunch of them, get them in. You know, I test them out and just make sure they're they're decent. I mean, a lot of these products, like you can look, and as long as they're made with decent materials, you know, for the purpose that they're they're using them for, there's really you can't really get hurt or you don't need to worry about this thing uh, falling apart. I mean, I'm just trying to see if there's anything different here. I mean, just pages and pages. And there's a whisk right there. Stainless mini whisk. I'm just curious what that would go for here. Let's take a look at that one. Stainless steel mini whisk. And 649 for two whisks. <laughs> Not bad. You know. And uh, 36 cents, really. I think your whisk is uh, is a pretty safe bet. You know, you can spend some, like I said, definitely spend a little time on here. And you have the added bonuses. You may stumble across products that you could, you know, you look and say, you know what, I this sells pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and buy them in bulk. And then you can go over to Alibaba.com and look at the same product. And you can find a manufacturer and order 200, 500, 1,000 of them, whatever. Again, you're still paying just, just a fraction of, of a dollar for a lot of this stuff and you know you could really stock up your inventory for not a lot of money so I hope you like this video on AliExpress and I think uh, it's a great way like I said for you to find inventory dirt cheap and um, pack up your your uh, your FBA inventory and start selling and get that feedback built up get your account going and uh, you'll find a lot of information like this. Please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. You're going to find a lot of information. And uh, on the website, it's www.sellinggroceries.com. And if you go to the newsletter page there and sign up, you'll get my free 60-page ebook, How to Sell Groceries and More on Amazon.com, a great resource for, uh, for learning the business. And uh, thank you for your time, and I'll talk to you in the next video.